Hey guys, Uncle Ray, welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. On this channel, we cut through the hype and the noise, and we give you the non-biased information you can use to capitalize on this bull run. Now, I do my research for me, and I share with my community. I started this channel because I believe so deeply that the average person can change their financial future in crypto in the next couple of years. And I want to bring in as many people as possible and share my knowledge from my 30 years of investing in and out of the markets. I traded my first foreign currency like in 1990. I know I've been around a long time. But anyway, guys, I want to share that knowledge with you and I want to show you what I'm doing and share my research. Now, I'm looking to swing trade big time. Now, I understand what you're probably thinking. It just did a 4X. It's leading this move up, or one of the tokens. Now, I would normally agree with you if you're thinking you're not going to change that, chase that pump, or buy at all-time highs. But hear me out. I'm going to share why I'm looking to swing trade it, and why I'm extremely bullish, and Take that information, do with it as you will. It's not financial advice. Anyway, let's get into it. Go ahead and hit that like button. All right. Now, if you look at crypto bubbles, this thing has done a 4X. It's the biggest bubble. It's done a 4X this month. Now, I would normally stay away from a project, but this is crypto. And a 4X is nothing in crypto especially at the start of a bull run with gaming now i don't think you've seen anything yet out of gaming whatsoever and this forex in this pretty much baby project that just came out and hasn't experienced its first bull run guys i'm bullish but now i talked to claude my favorite ai partner and he basically said that, you know, its biggest compet competitors is Sandbox, Decentraland, Decentraland, and Axie Infinity. Guys, Axie Infinity absolutely exploded in the last bull run. It had like $30 billion market cap. And we're not even in the ballpark of being a billion dollar market cap. And it's basically a brand new project that hasn't experienced a bull run. Now, I'm going to share something with you that made me extremely bullish. And this is fairly rare in crypto. And i got to give a shout out to Jahard. I think I said that right. With Bitcoin Strategy on YouTube. I suggest everyone subscribe to his channel. He has a wealth of information. And, you know... He brings a different perspective and different data than almost everyone in crypto. I really like his channel a lot. Now, I watched a podcast where he was basically showing who is buying big time. And normally, guys, literally 90 plus percent of the time, when you pull up data like that, you have the VC money, the insiders, whoever in a project they're the ones stacking really low and then you'll get the, you know the whales a little bit smarter money m normally the bigger accounts they'll jump in and then you'll see the average retail guy that just watched a couple of influencers or whatever and they throw their money in that's the exit liquidity normally for the early money well in his podcast check this out guys and i'm telling you this is very unique and rare and I plan to capitalize on it in in big time you had the average retail I'm talking about like people buying a hundred dollars fifty dollars worth they kicked off this bull run they're they're the ones in early and good for them that's what crypto is all about then the bigger money like you know ten thousand dollar buyers five thousand dollar buyers like that started buying Big time. And guess what, guys? Now, here recently, the whales started buying. Well, guys, it's going to have to pump 
a lot for them to get their exit liquidity. And normally, guys, a well, the smart money, does not jump into a project late. So I think they know something that the average person doesn't know. So I can't be more bullish. And I appreciate him bringing that to my attention. Now, I'm looking to swing trade big time. And big time. <laughs> Pun intended. And if you look at this chart, guys, this thing was setting up perfect for the daily. And I was literally about to put in an order right there, but I kept looking at the 15 minute and uh, it looked like it might not hold. I was literally thinking it might just be a fake out down in here and I would start to buy. And then if you look at it on the weekly, same thing. It was setting up absolutely perfect, but now it's broke down a lot. And literally it could, if we're lucky, go down to this area of support or even here somewhere in there I'll probably start dollar cost averaging in on my swing trade maybe average average in uh, probably three times if it keeps going against me and then dollar cost average out as soon as it starts to pump again it's just a swing trade hopefully it'll be three days a week I don't know definitely I'll be out before the year's out hopefully so that's kind of my plan and if you look at this where you can see it a little more clear, you know, it opened pretty strong this morning. It pulled back and it rallied hard again. And now it's pulling back again with a little bit of luck. This thing actually closes negative for today. Nothing goes straight up, guys. You want to see pullbacks just like Bitcoin right now. I'm extremely bullish, but this thing is ripping so hard. Guys, it's got to pull back, right? It will be healthy. We need a two, three day a week pullback so that it's healthy. Because if it just keeps pumping from here, you're just going to get, you're going to wake up one morning and Bitcoin has crashed, you know, $11,000. Not two eleven, but $11,000. It's just going to dump on everyone and probably catch them off guard. It'd be such a big dump that they may not jump in and start buying. I will. Anyway, I just wanted to bring this project to your attention. Big Time is a great gaming uh, game and a gaming studio. And I think, guys, this thing could have an, a huge upside. If it even gets in the ballpark of what Axie Infinity did last year, I mean, this thing's 100x, 200x, 500x. It could absolutely explode. So, guys, I normally understand that I'm not, and I do not chase pumps. But we're in a bull market. So you got to have the conviction to buy the pullbacks. See, most people have been buying the pullbacks in the bear market, which that will get you wrecked because it's not a pullback right like it pulls back you stack it and then it pumps a little bit it pulls back even more you stack it and you can stack all the way to the bottom but in a bull market it's totally different but for me and for whatever this is worth and I'll let you go the reason I'm swing trading and I'm not going all in and I'm not stacking new bags is because I think that we're going to have like a secondary scare. I think we're going to have a big pullback between now and the halving. And it's going to wash out a lot of the weak hands. But here's the thing, guys. For the people that go all in, which is fine. You'll be fine. And you'll probably make a lot of money. However, if you go all in, that means you don't have any dry powder. So, if we get a pullback. Let's say Bitcoin goes back. I really believe no matter what, Bitcoin's going back to, say, at least 30K, 32 right there and fill that big wick that kicked off this bull run. I think it's going to fill that in. Well, if that happens, the altcoins are probably just going to dump. I don't think they're going to make new lows for the bear market, but they're going to pull back substantially. Well, you've already used up all your dry powder. So if you jump in right now, 
And yeah, maybe you catch a 1x, 2x, 3x, but then it pulls back way more than that. It takes back the 2 or 3x profit and maybe goes down 2 or 3x. And you don't have any dry powder to buy. So that's kind of what I'm guarding against right now. I have some pretty good bags, but I'm looking to swing trade. So therefore, I have it on my radar. I wanted to bring it to your attention. I'm looking to dive in to big time, do a swing trade. Hopefully it's a couple of days, but I'm going to buy in. If it pulls against me, I'll buy in again. If it pulls against me, I'll buy in again. And then hopefully it will start to pump and I can dollar cost average out. Unless it just gets a big major wick. And at that time, a lot of times I'll just cover. But normally I want a dollar cost average in and dollar cost average out even on my swing trades. All right, guys. That's all I got. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Go to Big Time's website. Surf around. Educate yourself on this project. Because, guys, this is what I'm looking for across the board. Whether it's gaming, AI, or whatever. The project, um, CASPA is a perfect example. Salenta, uh, perfect example. Any project that launches in a bear market and then pumps and does well... What do you think it's going to do in the real bull market when Bitcoin is making an all-time high? Like, seriously, guys, big time launched technically in a bear market. CASPA, bear market, and it's been doing well. What do you think is going to happen when Bitcoin is at all-time high? These things are going to absolutely rip. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Let me know in the comments section if there's some better gaming projects I should be looking at. I'm not really into games solo. I'd prefer to stick to the studios or the infrastructure like Render. I think that uh, kind of works for my risk level. I'm not a gambler, and I can't keep up with the games. I'm not a gamer. So I like the infrastructure and the studios because... If the studio launches a game that explodes, the studio is going to do amazing things. The infrastructure plays. If any gaming does well, the infrastructure will do well. Yes, if you catch the correct game, it will do better. But guys, the games are going to be endless. And if you are a gamer, you'll understand how hot and cold a game could be. It could be the hottest game on the planet for a month. And then something else comes out and they jump ship and everything changes. But the studio that brought that game will still do well. The infrastructure will still do well. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Hit the like button. Share with like-minded people. But no matter what, guys, come back and be part of this community. Take care.